Welcome back to Brew Pub Simulator with me, Hybrid Steel, and today we're playing with the food truck. Oh, yes. So, unfortunately, due to technical difficulties, it's all I can put it down to, we're a little bit further ahead than I was. I had to create a crappy beer to have a go at the guy who actually works for me, and now I've got two chefs, so if I go into my tablet, I go into my staff, I've now got the food truck and the cook. Apparently, having both of them is all good. Now, I do have one more mission to do, and that is this one! The time flies, doesn't it? It feels like we are just freezing our brains yesterday from cinnamon chocolate ice cream. Cinnamon chocolate being a key here, okay? Cinnamon chocolate. Pay attention. What a surprise! You're running your own brew pub. Respect! If you need a capable bartender, I'd be happy to help. Just send me some good beer to taste. That's the least you can do for an old buddy, right? And this is cool, so... We need to create a two style beer, only one litre, and it has to be 10 days. So I don't do measurements, I just do. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a five litre beer and just send it off. Mainly because I don't give a damn, if, if I'm going to be brutally honest. So first off, I, I've already got some of that. We need cinnamon and cocoa. Okay, so we're buying cinnamon and cocoa powder. Note. They are the same as the things that we needed. Now what I need to do is I need to brew, I'm hoping this works, with a bog standard IPA. Not IPA, APA. American Pale Ale. Right, I need to buy hops because apparently I've run out. Right, there we go. Hops. Okay, so what, we need, what we're what we going to do is we're going to build a 5 litre portion. I don't really care about giving out, but the reason why is because what we have here, we have a, a tropical mixture. We have a American Pale Ale, another American Pale Ale. And a mixture. The downside is because I've had to reload the game whilst I've been mixing these, I have skipped. There, there's no name for these just yet, or I don't think there's going to be any names on these. They're just known as APAs now, which does suck just a little bit. And then we're all right. Okay, cool. So I need 5.3 liters of water. It'll do. Right. I need 1.3 liters of this stuff. We need. Is it 10 grams of hops? 10 G's. Dropping those G's. Excellent, and we need to cook this for 60 seconds. When this is done, we need to put this mixture of cocoa and cinnamon in the bucket with the mix. Hopefully, making an APA will actually be good enough for this. It means we don't have to wait the extra couple of days for brewing. It should just be done, and I'm hoping this will just be good enough for them. We'll go from there. Hopefully, it'll be good enough. Is it five grams of yeast as well? Yeah, five grams, or five mil, sorry. Even though it should be grams. Okay, next is five mil of yeast. Yeast! Right, five litres into the pot. Okay, so we're going to do ten grams of cinnamon, ten grams of cocoa. So this is going to be like a real sweet beer. All right, I'm going to leave this one on my rack because, well, this game's a bit finicky and sort of keeps disappearing things through the lockers. Right, okay, skipping the day. Cost me 50 bucks to make this beer. There we go. This is good. I'm going to call this Cinewell. Cinewell! Right, okay, cool. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take we're going to take Cinewell. Right, now I need to go and put this in the locker. Did we accept the mission? Hold on, permission, accept. Cool. Now we're going to skip another day. Doesn't matter if you love the smell of beer in the morning, you're not going to hear it. Skip the evening. Ha! Quest complete. Beer was awesome! It reminds me of the good old days. Let me know through, through your tablet if you need me. And now we have a beer lady this is a silver beer excellent okay cool so if i make i'm going to call this one uh, the tank the tank at eight dollars and 68 cents a pint how have i done one gold and one silver i have no idea and this is eight dollars you know what oh no hold on no 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 we're going to call this joe murphy all right cool so joe murphy here you are a beer congratulations and thanks for putting your name down for becoming a beer and now I've got a bartender that's fantastic now I need more glasses apparently because my glasses keep disappearing so fun and games for the whole family so we need some containers I'm gonna buy three three packs of glasses because it's gonna get busy and I'm just about to make it busier I need outdoor furniture for my bar because we've got the food truck so if I got the food truck then I have to have outdoor furniture for those people to go and sit on and yeah, we need more and more glasses for these. I've got $211. I feel like I need to bring some furniture out here because, well, we've got the food truck. So I need to do like a day's worth of stuff with the food truck as well. So that's going to be fun. 
but I think right now I'm just going for broke. I just need to do like as much as possible. Okay, so I've made some cost effective measures to bring my money back in. Basically, I sold some stuff and I made a few dollars on top. And the reason why is because I want to see what happens with full staff. Now, I don't mind being the bus boy. I don't mind cleaning up as long as my, um, my bartender can do her job. I don't know if she's going to take glasses straight out of the dishwasher. I may have to put those back on the shelf for her because I don't know how much of an invalid she is. So we'll go from there. Also, I've got to look after the courtyard and I've got to look after the main bar as well. Clean up on all the tidy and bits and pieces and see how things go. So, let's do this. We can now hire. I'm going to hire a cook number one. I'm going to hire the bartender and I'm going to be hiring food truck enthusiast. Now what I need to do is I need to put two tanks of beer don't fall through the scenery and then we're going to wire them up so i'm going to be taking the tank first off get my connection tube stick that on there we're all good excellent and then we need another keg that's an empty so i'll put that one there empty and this is a bog standard lager or ale sorry for you guys and this is a citrus and ginger now because i had to do a reset i didn't get to name this beer but that's the joys of bugs in this game occasionally they work Sometimes they don't. So we've got two beers up. Let's go and chuck these back up on the menu. And then we're going to do everything. It's going to be interesting. Like actually having a full rack of staff instead of just me going crazy that I can't do everything. All I've got to do is open, says me. And here we go. $90. Man, no, this is better be worth it. <laughs> I've got to make $90. That, that's, that's the bare minimum that I can. <laughs> All right. Are you ready? Are you steady? She looks, you know, do you remember playing Internet Cafe Simulator with the dead eyes? She's got dead eyes. Go! She takes a beer. Oh, interesting. So she's not using the glasses that are on here. Okay, cool. So I might as well just start. Fine. She's doing what she's doing her thing. I better start tidying up then. Lots and lots of people. Yes, sir. What can I get you? A spicy ginger. Goodbye. Any beer? I might be able to do an any beer. So I've got a lady over here playing darts. I'm going to clean up this rubbish as well. We're still on 100% and we're all right. So good, all good, all good. All right, how are we doing? Do you need your glass, sir? No? Fantastic. Do you want yours, sir? You haven't finished yet? All right, okay. Let's go and check outside in the uh, $5 at the food. Yeah, we're all good. Oh, we're at 94% rubbish. Let me just tidy up here. She's doing all right. She's doing fine. There we go. So she's all good. All I've got to do is just keep the flow of, like, good stuff in. 90%. What else is spilled? Guarantee there's, like, rubbish on the... Yeah, there's some rubbish. How you doing tonight there, ladies? I thought I'd uh, clean up around you. Have a good evening. Are you doing all right, matey? Brilliant. She's taking tips. We're doing good. Yes, sir. What can I get you? Any beer? I would, but my, apparently she can't She can't keep her beer straight. I have no idea where that went. Apparently, I just broke a glass. 67%? How did it, how did it get so dirty? 70%. Okay, most of the dirt's going to be in here then. There's loads of rubbish on the floor. Burger wrappers. Bits of rubbish. Despicable. Dirty people. You're all filth. Pigs in your own mess. Dirty boys. Dirty boys. She's unclean. This woman cannot pour a beer without flipping, spilling something. All good, all good, all good. That's on wash. 80%. We're up $269. Considering I started with literally nothing, I'm not doing too bad. Glass, pick up. How you doing there, Mr. Alien, sir? How you doing? Nice to see you. See you nice. So, according to this, then... Wow, he just walked through the fence. I'm impressed. How is that dirty and thin air? Awesome. Cool, cool, cool. Right, let me just pick up the rubbish here. So, this is actually quite a good way of keeping yourself busy. Basically, let the lady do the job. So she's a better bartender than me, because I would have struggled right now, apart from spilling all this crap all over the bar. And um, let her do what she's doing. Everyone's going to get served in a good time. Everyone, It's all going to be all right. Don't worry about it. And all I've got to do is just tidy up after people, which isn't too bad. We've kept the bar relatively clean. 87%. We've made $363 out of doing this. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. I'd hate to see this even busier. I would say right now she can cope. I wouldn't want to see like 300 cues. Five star reviews though. There's nothing wrong with that. Is there any rubbish out here, mate? Who are we done? Thank you very much for your help there, buddy. Most appreciated. We've got three customers left in the bar. 
84% dirty. One of these things I can't do nothing about. It seems to be that dirt gets lodged in the sky above like... Ooh, the, sta the stange glut. Stange? Alright, cool. So we actually made $142 in profit after totally expensive 275 but we did create some beers bought some stuff 275 dollars is like the furniture i bought as well so like on an average day we're gonna be making like four or five hundred dollars in profit which is pretty damn good <sighs> let me just go over the the bar see that's a weird one so this up here look there we go not too shabby if you ask me that was a good turnover 371 from at well what we had a tenner left after buying and stuff for that night 371 dollars all we'd have to do is open for 10 nights consecutively without spending any to be able to pay off the three grand debt that's on this but we've got two liters of american pale left we we sold quite these were doubles so these were around 14 liters uh, a pipe so we sold 11 liters of beer off of basically each one so that's quite and considering that you know, even the cheapest beer was at $4 because it was a bit of a crappy beer. Okay, so what I can do is I could serve out the neck, empty out the pipes. Is we've only got five litres worth of like beer, saving me $90, makes more money off of it, and then change over for the following day. So that's again, that's not a bad little strat if you can just to wing it, but not bad. I, we, you know, having I'm not sure about having two cook. I mean, I'd love to hear your like verdicts on this, like having the food trucks, not a bad gig, but I mean, is that the same? They, they sell the same thing, so would it be, is it better? fishery to have both of these going or is it just not worth it I, i'd love to hear someone else's thoughts on it it's always good for me but yeah that was a good run really good run 371 on profit i'm good and these tropical beers are real i mean they're expensive ingredients because you have to use like you have to use citra you have to use magnum you have to use simcoe and you have to use amarillo plus the yeast and the light malt extract as well so you do have to spend quite a bit but the profit on it is good I mean, really. So the only thing I need to buy really is if we buy a hundred bucks worth of light malt extract, um, let's get some more yeast, order that, in. and then uh, yeah, I've got an email to open up as well, which will probably be the reason why we make another video, because <laughs> you know I'm not capitalising on everything whatsoever. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so let me just put my uh, things down. I will get myself, I'm just going to get a shelf dedicated to this stuff because it takes up quite a bit of room. So I mean, it takes up loads and loads of room. I need a shelf dedicated to malt. Yes. Right, a yeast up on the shelf. Excellent. Got two packs of hop. I'm doing okay there as well. And then all I have to do is just make sure that we've got enough citra. We've got enough magnum. I think it's 14 grams for one so let's just check that i might i might need to buy one more west coast ipa it needs 28 grams for a big tub so okay we got enough to do one more so i'll probably buy, I'll buy some more of that so yeah magnum hop is the other one i need i mean because i need like 30 basically yeah it takes it's like two packs of magnum stuff just to make two beers which is quite that's quite an expensive amount but look at the profit again look at the profit and there we go so let's have a look oh look at these look okay right wait look. i got my i got a beer for a really low price i wanted to drink a decent beer but i didn't get one here well stop asking for cheap crap pretty simple everyone else five stars uh my wallet loves this place i bet it does it's amazing i'm not sure if that's a negative comment or a positive you know i mean we, we do our we do our best here I've got the exact beer I wanted. See, we're getting fours and fives. We're doing all right. Really cheap beer. Long time spent waiting in line. That's because you came on a busy night. That's not my fault. Come when it's quieter. You know, like at the end of the night. Or at the beginning when not a lot of people are here. Okay, let's have a look at this late next mission we've got to do. Ice and fire. I hope this letter finds you well. I'm writing on behalf of the Association of Video Game Developers. Ooh. which is organizing an up-and-coming gaming event one of the attractions at the event is a spicy pineapple pizza eating contest where participants will test their tolerance for heat and flavor to add an extra kick to the competition we would like to offer participants the opportunity to quench their thirst with the spiciest beer from your esteemed production to ensure the beer aligns with contest yeah, with the contest, sorry, my cursor's in the way. We kindly request that you create the spiciest batch you are capable of producing. Preferred beer types, APA. Oh no, that's an American Amber. I don't think we've made an Amber. 
interesting and an American black I'd prefer to do the amber because we haven't done one if the beer meets our expectations our sponsor will provide you with a brand new refrigerator Ooh, that will certainly come in handy for brewing lagers Ooh. Kidio? I think it's Kidio because this is supposed to be Hideo Kojima. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Association of Video Game Developers. So we can build an amber or a black spicy flavour. Minimum quality, three stars, has to be nine litres. Cool. Does that mean that we've unlocked a new. Hold on. Is that Have we got a new one? Oh, we haven't. Okay. Oh, there it is. Amber. I never bit, I've never done an amber. How much can we get out of that? $5? See, the West Coast IP is really good. So we, we can build an amber for five bucks. What's the... So it's Cascade and Magnet. So that's really cheap on the old ingredients as well. All we need is... Um, transfer the mixture of fermenter. It doesn't actually say spicy, so we'd have to use, like, spicy things. Well, we're going to have to use, like, chilies for this, aren't we? This stuff. Chili pepper. Flipping brilliant. Now, can we build one that's so intensely spicy that by the time they drink it, they're going to be weeing fire? I think that would be quite an achievement if we could do that. How's it going to affect me? Have you ever seen a fire hose? Yes. Imagine that on fire. We can make wee-wee spice and see how that goes. So that's my new one, chili peppers. Oh, that's going to be good. That's going to be real good. So if you guys want to see that beer being made being chucked out into the competition and everything else let me know in the comment section below. i'd love to hear your thoughts so if you want to see the next video of this you know hit that like subscribe and notification button by default right, so i will be back here with a brand new video live stream or whatever else to do on this channel until then thank you very much for being here this has been hybrid steel and i'll see you all later i want to say fit, peace out have fun enjoy everything you guys do ah boom fist bump to you